Hello and welcome to Get Creative in the Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make this absolutely delicious mutton masala or goat curry. You can use any other red meat of your choice if you don't want to use goat. It doesn't have a lot of spices in it but it's absolutely super delicious. So make sure you watch right to the end and let's get straight into it. So here I have freshly crushed my ginger and garlic and it's essential that you used fresh ginger and garlic for this recipe and not a paste. Let's start making this mutton curry. You can use any other meat, any other red meat of your choice. Let's add the oil and let that heat up. Once the oil's heated up, we're going to add our cumin seeds. Once the cumin seeds are done, I'm going to add my roughly blended onion. I'm going to cook these onions through well for about 5 to 8 minutes till it completely reduces in quantity and the oil comes to the surface. Okay, my onions are nicely cooked. I have been stirring it the whole time. So you're going to cook it till it doesn't have a raw onion smell and you can see that the oil is coming through. So it's time now for our fresh ginger and garlic to go in and it's essential that you use fresh ginger and garlic for this recipe because it has very few ingredients. So mix that through for about two to three minutes till the ginger and garlic cooks. Okay, I can smell the aroma of the ginger and garlic. It's nicely cooked through. Make sure you keep stirring this the whole time. So it's time now for my dry spices to go in. We've got coriander here, turmeric, chili powder to your taste, and Kashmiri chili powder for color or paprika. So very few spices in this dish. Turn the heat down and mix that through. I'm just going to add a splash of water to make sure that my spices don't burn. And you just cook this through for about a minute or two. You see that my curry paste is all clumped together. So that's a good sign that my curry paste is now cooked. So I'm going to add the meat in next. Turn the heat back up. Now I'm using mutton or goat, but you can use any red meat for this dish. And we're going to brown this really well for at least 7 to 10 minutes. So the longer you spend in this process, the better it's going to taste. I'm going to add my salt. I am really taking my time to brown this meat. As I mentioned earlier, it's got very few spices. So you've really got to make sure that you seal in all those yummy spices that we have. So if it does start to get caught down the bottom, you can deglaze the pan, just add a little bit of water and continue browning the meat. Making sure that you keep stirring it and just deglaze the pan as and when needed. Okay, so I have been browning this and stirring it for probably about 15 minutes and as you can see, nothing is sticking down the bottom anymore because the oil has now released. And when the oil releases, you know that it's all nicely cooked through. So you can see there's nothing getting caught down the bottom. And if I zoom in, you will see that the oil is starting to come through. So that's all good. I'm happy with that. That's going to taste really good if you take the time. So in goes next my tomatoes and mix that through for a few minutes. I'm 
I just want my tomatoes to soften a bit, so I'm not pressurizing this. I'm just going to put the lid on for about five minutes till the tomatoes soften. Okay, it's been about five minutes, so let's check on these tomatoes. Okay, that's looking good. As you can see, my tomatoes have all softened up nicely. So I'm going to add some water. And I'm going to pressure cook my dish, but if you're not using a pressure cooker, just cook it as per normal. Okay, see you back in half an hour. Okay, it's time for me to check on this meat. I have released all the steam from my pressure cooker. Okay, so we've got a lovely gravy happening there. I'm happy with that. Um, and my meat is tender. So that's looking good. So I'm going to add my garam masala. Mix that through. Next goes my kasuri methi. Fresh chilies and fresh coriander. Mix that through. Beautiful, look at that. That smells absolutely delicious. So give this recipe a try. It's very few ingredients and very, very simple to make. And as I mentioned before, you can substitute the meat Check out my other mutton dishes on my channel. I'll leave the link before, below, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.